Hey there folks, your old buddy Gerald here. Yep, I'm back again. So I wanted to show you what I got this year for Christmas. Uh, and yeah, my Carolyn uh, got it for me too. She was actually going to get me one of these for Christmas. Um, but finally did. First off, it's in a nice um, padded gig bag. And it's not a black gig bag. It's a real nice tan color. Oh, well, you got to hear what it is. Well, let's just see what it is. You got to hear it. <laughs> Y'all are going to love this thing. You're going to love this, what I got. Okay. Um, and I finally got one that's in great shape. That's amazing. What is it? Cha ching Yeah, it's a five-string banjo. Five-string banjo right here, boy. All right. So, um, these things right here are a lot of fun. Um, because, well, here it is. Here's the, here's the name of it right here. Here it is. Okay. Got the bow on the back. Uh, got the uh, double cream binding around it. Uh, the neck and everything is perfect. It just, just, just incredible. Okay. Okay. It's, this is an open G tuning. And notice you got your fifth key right here. Right here. Okay, um, because of the string. And there's your banjo, and there's the thing where your, where your arm rests or your wrist. I'm going to keep that on there so it can ring out more. Now, I don't use picks on these, but yeah, check it out. Um, I was fooling around with it a little bit today. of how you play those. Gerald, is there anything you can't play? Well, I can't play a fiddle. <laughs> you know, and everybody thinks that the banjo is so hard because they hear the, uh, you know, they hear the... You're just sitting here picking with your fingers. With three fingers is all you do. See, the more, <laughs> the more you get used to it, then the faster that you can get where you can be like, you know, where you can really get down with it, okay? But I just, I'm not here to impress anybody with playing by all means because I need to play on, I need to, I need to work some more on this thing myself, okay? <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> but this is what I wanted to show you what I got this year. Here's the back of the key tuners and the back of the instrument. But yeah, it's a really cool, nice little... See, watch this. Oh, there it is. 
Um, So, you can really take it up. You can really, man. I tell you what, you can really play this thing if you know, you know, if you know what you're doing. But uh, you know, what you you just started playing this. Okay, so you can do all kinds of stuff with it. You don't necessarily have to play the banjo, you know. And this is a miscommon, this is a misconception. Everybody thinks that you have to play the banjo, you know, Earl Scruggs style, but you really don't have to. You can play this thing like Grandpa Jones or Roy Clark or String Bean, all those guys, you know. Uh, You don't necessarily have to play it, you know. So there you go. <laughs> But that's it, my five string banjo, like I said, I'm not here to impress anybody with playing but no one sense of the imagination. Cause I need the I need to work on this thing myself. You know. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I'm I'm seriously I'm ser seriously I do. You know. I guess one of the trickiest things is like whichever patterns that you wanna wanna pick, because you're only using three fingers. And then you only hit the strings that you want to. There's not a right or wrong way to do this, you know, it's just, you know, but if you don't know how to finger pick, then, then you know, that that's, that's probably going to be the hardest part is learning how to finger pick. But once you get past that... I mean, you can do it fast as all get out if you want to. It's just, I've just, well, what helps with me, it's, well, I've been finger picking for about 20 years with the guitar. That's how I learned finger picking. So learning the guitar and then your fing and then finger picking with that, then you'll kind of be used to finger picking. I mean, that's just how I learned. Okay. You learn one instrument and then you're kind of familiar because, well, I've been around this stuff for you know, pretty much all my life. I've, I pretty much know how these instruments work. 
I know how they work, you know, even though I, I haven't really played, played the, I've not really played these very much. I've not really played the banjo, you know, not really. I mean, I've plunked around on it a little bit and, you know, played it a little bit, but I've not really played this thing very, very, just probably a handful of times. And you're that good. Because I had my ear here, I hear, you know, with your ears. So, like I said, I just, all thought I've been around bluegrass bands and, you know, all this stuff. And you hear, you hear how all these things work. And then, you know, I just, I just kind of know what I'm talking about a little bit. I've been doing it for a long time. <laughs> okay, let me show you the case. But this is the case that it comes in. A nice padded case. It's got nice foam in it for protection. And you even get... Let me show you here. Woo! George, you're just getting it, getting with it there for a minute. I know. It's just second nature. It's just second nature to me. But see, that's the thing. You don't want to be playing like everybody else. That's the thing. Everybody gets their banjos and they just play and whatever. But you know, and like every like if y'all have said over the last several days, weeks that you love my finger style technique. You love my claw technique. Because it's different. You're not going to hear anybody play like this. And that's what I want. Because anybody can play like Earl Scruggs. You can play all like that. But you play like Gerald. It's different, you know, because I don't want to, you know, if I hand this guitar to Earl Scruggs and it's going to sound the way he does and it's going to sound the way I do when I play it. Or anybody. Um, but they gave me a set of extra strings. Five strings. Okay. And like I said, this is just in the open G tuning. You get a cloth, whew, and guitar picks, and then you get a paper. So that's all of the case candy. Yeah. So you get your case, you get all your paper, you get your Now that I have a banjo that I can actually play, that I can actually enjoy, that I don't have to worry about fixing, that the neck is all messed up and everything. I mean, this thing is smooth as a baby's butt. necessarily what I'm doing up here is just hammering on and pulling off to the strings That's what people don't understand. That's what a lot of people don't explain when it comes to playing the banjo is, you know, with your right hand, you're just picking. You're not, do you're not doing anything. On your left hand, you're just cording, hammering on and pulling off whatever you want to. It's just, you know, it's open G. The second fret is your sharp. And it just goes all the way up. But, you know, so it's just like fretting a guitar, just like fretting, only the, the instrument's different. That's what people don't explain to you, that it's just like a guitar, because you've got frets and you've got strings, you know, and it's, you're going to pick whatever you want 
whatever you're doing over here. Now, if you want to use finger picks because, you know, going back and forth on stage, i got to play the keyboard. Then if I want to switch to the acoustic guitar or to the bass, you know, or to one of these, then I don't have time to be wearing finger picks. So mine's going to sound a little duller than everybody else's. You know, unless you have fake nails, you can wear acry acrylic nails. I don't know. You know, that's fine. That's cool. But, you know... <laughs> there it is so your old buddy Gerald here y'all let me know what you think about this banjo and if you would like to learn some about this banjo if you'd like to if you'd like me to show you something on this show you how to really play this thing and explain I'm gonna explain this to you in a guitarist point of view that's how you play one of these things is from a guitarist point of view okay because um, if you know how to play the guitar then you already know how to play one of these it's just doing something different all these instruments are doing the same thing you know just like transportation cars boats planes they're all forms of transportation that just get they just get you there differently so these just get you playing music differently remember that okay so that's all that is if you want to know if you want to know about the buzz and what the what is when it comes to musical instruments i'll tell you because like i said i kind of know what i'm kind of know what i'm talking about here but you know not that I'm you know, better than anybody else. It's just that, well, I kind of understand. I know from a standpoint that y'all would understand that you would really get into like, I get it. It's from a guitarist point of view, right? And that's the best way to learn any kind of instrument like that. You know, whether it be a mandolin or a ukulele or whatever. So it's just... Like I said, being around all these instruments for the past almost 34 years. <laughs> um, yeah, about almost 35 years. Good Lord. Um, kind of, I've been around y'all, you know. But I just, pretty much I just want to show y'all what this thing sounds like. And let you hear it. And it comes in a nice case and I really appreciate that. Because now I have something that I can play that I can enjoy for years and I don't have to worry about it. It's in a nice padded gig bag. And this whole thing, $150. Now, like I said, I can find the best deal on eBay for anything, any instrument, any guitar, period. Not that I'm that good, but because, well, I look, I, <laughs> you know. Would you know spend that or twenty or two thousand dollars on a uh, on a banjo? It's going to do the same thing. You're just paying for the name. And that's enough. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> y'all be groovy. Your old buddy Gerald here. Happy Merry Christmas, y'all. And for me and my Carolyn, we uh, send y'all groovy wishes. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Y'all be groovy. Your old buddy Gerald. Let me know what you think of my new banjo. And in the weeks to come, we'll do some groovy lessons, and I'll show you how to use this thing, okay? All right, y'all. Y'all be groovy.